Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Bentley. I'm going to talk to you about a probiotic called Lactobacillus salivarius. Salivarius reminds me of the word saliva. So to that effect, we're actually going to start at the top of the digestive system in the oral cavity, all the way down through the intestines and discuss all the health benefits that Lactobacillus salivarius has. First stop is in the oral cavity. In the oral cavity, uh, most times people actually get, the, get what are called plaque buildup. And this plaque buildup can lead to cavities, tooth decay, uh, lead to gingivitis. And that often happens because there's certain overgrowth of bacteria such as strep mutans. Strep mutans is one of the ba bacteria that we know that actually can create cavities in our teeth. And so lactobacillus salivarius actually has a beneficial effect to actually inhibit some of that formation. Something else in the oral cavity that people are very self-conscious about is bad breath, also known as halitosis. And that can occur because there's usually an overgrowth of bad bacteria, whether there's a pocket of infection, such as an abscessed tooth, or you just have an overall imbalance of bacteria throughout your entire digestive system that can lead to an overgrowth of bad bacteria, creating halitosis. And lactobacillus salivarius has been beneficial in inhibiting um, bad breath, essentially, and that malice odor that people can get. As we move down the digestive system into the stomach, there's a condition that people get sometimes it's called gastric ulcers. And these ulcers have been associated with an overgrowth of a bacteria called H. pylori. H. pylori is a bacteria that attaches to the stomach lining and starts to erode away the gut lining in that mucosal barrier. And that's where they start to get the burning sensation and the pain in the stomach. And so Lactobacillus salivarius has had in the research to show inhibitory properties of inhibiting that H. pylori from growing. The other things that it does has been shown beneficial is with regards to, again, the immune modulatory properties. And when you help the immune system not be so pro-inflammatory, you make it less sensitive to things. And that's where ultimately you get better health when it comes to your respiratory system, uh, such as asthma, and then also when it comes to eczema. So people, atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema, is often associated with asthma. And so it's an interesting correlation that we see a lot of these probiotics that have huge benefits to the immune system, again, because 70% of the immune system is where? That's right, in the gut. And so you decrease all that inflammatory cytokines and that those bad chemicals circulating around, and it has an overall good, healthy systemic effect. Another beneficial effect of lactobacillus salivarius is that it has been shown to help bring back microbial balance to people with type 2 diabetes. The research indicates that people with type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, is that they have a certain overgrowth of bad bacteria in their gut. So much so that we've been able to take uh, fecal transplants in mice that are type 2 diabetic, take their microbiota uh, from that fecal transplant and transplant it into a healthy mouse, and actually that hot mouse now will become type 2 diabetic. It's very interesting to look at the signature and the information that is given by the bacteria in our body. And remember, we have 10 times more bacterial cells in our body than we do cells in our body. And so the information that they give is very powerful. So that alone is just mind-blowing to me. So anyways, going on about lactobacillus salivarius is that one other beneficial effect that it has is that it has been shown to suppress and actually inhibit uh, certain cancer cells from growing. Um, so again, this isn't a slam dunk, oh, everybody that has cancer should take this, but it's just interesting the research that's out there showing that it does have suppressive and inhibitory effects on tumor cells.